Hello there, and welcome to my to the doctor's office today. So, right now we're battling the COVID pandemic. So, I'm going to real quick take a look at your chart here. Alright, um, it looks like you're in here for a COVID test, is that correct? Okay, so... First, I'm going to put on a little bit of hand sanitizer. Make sure that I'm nice and sanitized. All right. So, first, I'm going to go around your neck. Uh, all right, so... Okay, that feels fine. That honestly, it feels fine to me. It feels fine to me. Now, the main problem with COVID is it can start in the, it can happen in the lungs. So, if you see, we try to keep our room festive. So, yeah. So, I'm going to go ahead and listen to your lungs. Let me take a look. Take a deep breath in for me, please. And out. In. And out. In. And out. One more time. In. And out. All right, so now we're. I'm going to go to your back. All right, so breathe in for me. In and out. In and out. Okay, so your lungs sound pretty good. You never put on too much hand sanitizer. In these times your lungs sound pretty good um so i i'll be right back i'm going to go get my covid test all right so here is our covid test swab it looks exactly like a, it's basically a it looks like a flu test or a DNA swab or um, a strep throat test. But basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert it up your nose. So first, i got to put on some gloves. Gloves are most, mostly needed here. Since we're battling COVID, you don't want to get the spread. Oh. Well. Thing. One minute here. Should have an extra glove somewhere. Oh. It's like I'm not using gloves today. Actually, yes, I do have an extra pair of my little bat here. I have two pairs in this bag. They are completely sterile. Go ahead and put these on. Those were a little bit tight on my hands, so I can why they broke so right now I have my gloves on and they are not broken that's a good sign I'm going to go ahead and open our test swab alright I'm going to go ahead and 
All right, I'm going to rub it around for... I'm going to count down from 10. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. All right, so... I'm going to go ahead and go send this down to our lab. All I have to do is put in that door for right now. So, now I'll dispose of these. Trash bin they go. Put on more hand sanitizer. Again, you can never have too much hand sanitizer during COVID-19. So, overall, I think you're really, you're, you're really healthy. Um, what I think is that it's probably the common cold. Um, no sign, I see no signs of, uh, COVID besides the chest, which it usually happens with the common cold. Your chest, your chest is usually, us, your lungs usually have, usually has mucus in it. And that's the main thing to be worried about. That worries us a little bit, but. No matter what your test results, it, it was a it's a rapid test, so we'll know in about like a minute here. So the last part for of my examination is to go ahead and go over some questions with you. So have you drank alcohol in the last twenty four hours prior to the test? No. So the reason why we ask that question is because alcohol in the blood in the blood and it can get in the mucus and alcohol will affect the way that the that the test comes back and it will screw up with the test results so a question have you ever done any drugs like marijuana crack cocaine weed anything like that no you haven't okay so last question Thank you, nurse. Your test res results are back. So, last and final question. So, have you ever had uh, a high fever, uh, above 101, uh, sore, knit, sore throat, cough, uh, for any sign about two weeks now? No? Okay. So, your test can't results came back negative so i wish i could high five you but i can't and so that's all i can do for you you just have the common cold so uh thank you for participating in this exam hope you have a wonderful day and anytime you don't feel good just come in get covid tested and we'll always be here to help thank you